handicap power crew this is tony and stella checking in from the cast iron new cast iron cleaning table so before we use this big uh dutch oven that we got let's get this thing cleaned up so i want to take a few minutes and show you guys how to clean a piece of cast iron this particular piece of cast iron it's set up in a barn for a long time a benefit we have is it's not rusty so we're going to give it a good cleaning i'm going to wash it with some scotch bright not scotch bright pads but sos pads get this thing clean and in the process we're going to remove a lot of seasoning off of it but it's okay because we're fixing to put it right back on so let's get this thing cleaned up In the cast iron world, this is the dirty part, is getting it cleaned up. So I had a young guy at work not too long ago. He told me, he said, hey, Pete, one thing I know about cast iron is you never wash it with soap. Reason being is because um, cast iron seasoning is like oil-based or it's grease-based. So as soon as you put soap on it, like Dawn dishwashing liquid or something like that, its process is to remove the grease. So if you wash cast iron with any type of grease cutting agent, it takes your seasoning off. So you, you're not supposed to do that. But in our case today, it's okay if we take the seasoning off because I mean, we at least know it's 30 years old. And before I cook in something 30 years old, let's get it cleaned up and get it re-seasoned. It's a beautiful piece of cast iron. It just needs a little bit of TLC. So we're gonna take these SOS pads strip this thing down get it cleaned up and we're going to re-season it and that's after we get it cleaned it's in excellent shape there's no rust on it what are y'all doing Can y'all see how that old seasoning's coming off? Rip down good. So here's the thing you got to know about cast iron. As soon as you strip that surface off, you have got to get that water off of it. So I'm going to grab a rag and we're going to dry that thing off. Should have brought one with you. Right, it cleaned up very well. 
let's get this thing out in the lodge and let's go ahead and get some heat on it. Once we get a little bit of heat on it, we're going to put some seasoning on this thing and let's start letting it cook in. Okay, campfire crew, we're in the lodge and we just brought that big Dutch oven around here. I have got it in the grill. I'll never ever try to reseason cast iron in the stove again. So we cleaned it outside by the hose pipe. I'm gonna get it up to just a little bit warm and I'm gonna go ahead and grease this thing down, get the water dried out good so the seasoning will stick. And we're gonna fire this thing up, get some grease on it and get it reseasoned. Okay, campfire crew, we've got the um, Dutch oven, got it out of the grill. So I put it in to heat the thing up and get it real hot, just to dry it out good, to burn some of the old seasoning off um, and do some more cleanup on it. So now, and this thing is still extremely hot. We let it set at 500 degrees for just a few minutes. So now that it's cooled back down some, I'm gonna put some vegetable shortening on it and then I'm gonna stick it back in and we're gonna let this thing cook and clean up. Ain't nothing like a, a fresh coating of seasoning. That thing is very hot. All right. We've got it all down well. And I'll let y'all see. So can y'all see how shiny it looks and how clean it is? We're going to do the lid exactly the same way. And then we're going to put them both back in and we're going to get these things cool. If you'll get your cast iron hot first, before you put your oil on it, it takes it a lot better. It gets all the moisture out of it. And it sticks very well. Can y'all see already how dark that thing is? And now we're fixing to bake the seasoning back on it. Look how beautiful that thing is. Beautiful piece of cast iron. So we're gonna set it up on the top shelf. Set the oven on the bottom. So as of right now, the temperature, there is no temperature on the grill. We're going to bring it back up to 500 degrees. So with three burners, it'll come on to 500. And we're going to let this thing cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'll see y'all in an hour. All right, it's been over an hour. We're fixing to cook this thing, cut this thing off and let it cool down. We fixing to wipe it down the last time and we fixing to cook. What oh, thanks beautiful. I think it could probably stand another coating, but we're not going to do it today. We're going to let those cool down, and we're fixing to get some chili on. 